10 Simple Tips to Prepare for a Blackout Blackouts can happen anytime, anywhere. Tree branches, storms, high winds, and the loss of transmission lines can cause blackouts. Do you know how to survive a blackout? In this video, we're going to give you 10 blackout tips you need to know, so make sure you stick to the end. Now, let's start. Number 1. Unplug your appliances Since you can never predict how long you'll be in a blackout, you should unplug your appliances and electrical devices. This means everything from your TV and computers to your stove and microwave. Go around the house and unplug each item. There's no particular order to do this. Or you can shut down the main circuit breaker in your control panel. You can then easily unplug separate items one at a time. You should cut power to your appliances to prevent damage to them if there's a power surge. When the electricity company comes to get the power back, a power surge could damage or blow up your electrical devices. By unplugging them, you protect your expensive devices. Just look outside of the street lights to see if the power is on, or leave one light on. When you get power back, consider investing in whole home surge protection. Number 2. Write important details on paper Do you have your family's phone numbers and addresses memorized? Chances are you don't. One of the best blackout tips is to conserve the battery power on your cell phone for use in an emergency. Before you power it off, write down any phone numbers and addresses you might need. Even write down the numbers of the nearby hospital, shelters, and local libraries. These public places might have power sooner and can be a place to contact your loved ones. Then, switch your phone off, or at least to an ultra power saving mode or airplane mode. Number 3. Fill up the bathtub. One of the most critical blackout supplies you'll need is water. In a blackout, the water may soon stop flowing. Fill up the bathtubs in your home and a few buckets. This way you have a reserve of water to flush the toilet, clean, and drink. Number 4. Beware of carbon monoxide. A big part of surviving a blackout is avoiding carbon monoxide. Don't ever use a generator, cook with a gas stove, or use a grill inside the house. These all produce carbon monoxide, an odorless gas that can kill. Test your carbon monoxide detector to make sure it's working. Replace the batteries of the detector if you have to. Number 5. Keep the freezer closed. One of the best tips to survive a blackout is to keep your freezer closed. Even without power, most freezers keep items frozen for a few days, and your freezer will keep food cold for a few more days. During a blackout, it's great to have food in the freezer in case you run out of food in the fridge. Also, many home insurance policies cover spoiled food due to power outages, so don't worry too much about the cost of the loss of spoiled food. Tape a big Do Not Open sign on the freezer and remind everyone not to open it. Number 6. Use a gas stove to cook perishable foods If you have a gas stove, you're in luck. You can continue to cook on it to feed your family in a blackout. But you'll need to use a match to light the stove because the ignition probably won't work. You can also use those to cook if you have a gas grill or a propane barbecue. Just make sure to use both outside. Number 7. Bring solar lights inside Walking around in the dark is dangerous, and you want to spare your flashlight batteries as much as you can. One of the best things to do in a blackout is to bring your solar lights indoors at night. They can light up the washroom, stairs, and hallways. And unlike candles, they won't burn your house down. Make sure to put them back out during the day to power them up. Number 8. Bring your power strip. If your blackout continues for a few days, you may find a local shelter or library with power. When you go there, bring a power strip. That way you can charge multiple devices at once. You can also give it to others who need to charge their devices on the few available outlets. Number 9. Prevent frozen pipes If you are in a blackout in the colder months, you want to check and prevent your pipes from bursting. Number 10. Check on your neighbors During a blackout, it's a good idea to check on elderly neighbors. They might need some help. After you've connected with your friends and family to let them know you are safe, make sure to contact each other later. If you plan to move to a shelter until the power returns, let your neighbors know where you're going. So stay safe with these blackout tips. We hope these 10 blackout tips help you learn how to deal with a blackout in your area. And there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to be the first to watch the following videos and for more great tips. Thanks for watching.